Hey, how's it going guys here for another straight uh, razor shave video. Uh, been a couple days, been super busy again prepping for the for the release of the of the clothing line, the shirts of course primarily. Um, so it's been super hectic. Even last night I went to sleep like at 1 in the morning. Um, and I still, of course I had my regular job so I had to wake up at 6 the next morning. So a uh, little burnt out but I'm starting to get hairy. It's been like about 3 days since my last shave. And it's just unacceptable. I'm starting to get itchy on my neck and I just can't handle that. So, and I even look darker, I swear. When I look at my face when I got facial hair, I look dark as hell. So, can't really, can't, can't go that route. So, definitely have to get in the shave today. Today I'm going to be using Cold River Soap Works. Let's check it out. Cold River Soap Works. This is going to be their barbershop scent. Is it American barbershop or just barbershop? I'm not really sure. Let me see what it's in the back here. American Barbershop, yeah, so it does say American Barbershop on it. For me, this one smells very similar to Soap Commander Courage, I think. Let me see. Yeah, Soap Commander Courage. So if you're a fan of the Soap Commander Courage, this is, a, for me, it's a similar scent. So, I like it. I'm a huge fan of the Soap Commander Courage. And just, um, Soap Commander is one of the slickest soaps I've ever ever used. Probably my second uh, slicker soap that I use. Um, but also when it comes to like Cold River Soap Works, the reason why I like to go back to Cold River Soap Works, um, this is probably one of like the creamiest lathers. A uh, lot of protection. This, this one gives a lot of cushion. So this is a very special lather in its own right. Um, do I think is that as slick as Soap Commander? No, I don't believe so. But again, I think this leather has to t has a tendency to be a little a bit more dense, and just offers a bit more protection. So again, a, a lot of these soaps are similar, but they all have their little plus and minuses. Uh, this one just I love it because let me see, let me get one of these towels. I love it because the leather is real rich and creamy, and it just and it just leathers are really fast. If you guys ever seen my uh video when I did the sandalwood this thing lathers right when you put it on your face like this here's a little dry because lately what I've been doing I've been lathering I've been uh, loading heavier um, just because I don't know I've just been liking the results and I'm, again just never a concern to run out of product so I've been overloading a bit and I, just, I, I love the lathers I've been getting so it's like why, not, why change it You see, when I lather, I do these circles. And my stepson AJ, he's been he struggles to do the circles. He just for some reason he doesn't have the motor skills to do the circles, so he has to go back and forth, kind of like a style like uh, Chris Bailey does. He doesn't do the circles like myself or Anthony does. He has to do this because he I don't know. He just his arm doesn't function in a manner that allows him to do the the circles. But again, as long as he gets the good lather, who cares? Definitely gonna have to get the clippers out and get the goatee going because it's getting a little unruly. Very nice. You know, I've been taking my time a lot more lately, uh, lathering, just because I enjoy it. It's an enjoyable part of the shave, so I rush through it. So, the way I usually handle my rotation on my razors is I have them lined up on a shelf. If you're on uh, Facebook and Instagram, you've seen how I have my, uh, my, my razors displayed. And I go down the row. Well, just so happens where I put this one, it's this, it's this slots today. So, again, so today I'm going to use the Waiting Butcher uh, Bow Razor. So,
There's something about these pool scales. You know, they're they're a real showstopper. You know, people see them. They almost always have to make a comment, which is good. It's cool. I'm sure there's people that don't like the pool scale. But I haven't seen any yet. Kind of funny when I use this razor, I kind of notice. Silver Loaf got such a mirror polish all on the tang and everything that I actually have a little bit of trouble gripping it. Not really trouble gripping it, but I could. I could feel my fingers sliding around a bit when I'm holding it. It hasn't really given me much issues yet, but I feel it. Hey, where's Matthew Weaver been at? I haven't seen him do a video in a very long time. Matt, Captain Marvel, where you at, man? As you can see, I'm not even talking as much as normal, and it's just, it's been a long day, a long day. Unfortunately, I'm not very handy 
with my hands, you know, construction type stuff, carpentry. So my dad is actually working on a new on a new uh, shelf to display my razors in. Not that I'm getting rid of the other one, but I run out of room. I'm able to fit like what seven, eight razors on it, and I've actually just I have two extras that I don't have a home to hang on, so they're kind of just sitting on the shelf on a flat surface. They deserve to be displayed, so I'm gonna get another one in here. And the one this one he's working on. Doesn't have any like compartments to put soaps in it. It's just gonna be two full rolls for shirt razors, so really excited for this one. This is a really easy razor to use. Really enjoy using it. And it's nicely balanced too. Excellent shave. Excellent shave. Excuse the water, you know. Hopefully that's seeing the water run. I'm still always paranoid that my phone being so heavy that it is, because again, I got the Note 3, and then I got the OtterBox case on it, so it's heavy as all hell. So I'm always concerned that like in the course of me recording this video, it's starting to droop. So you'll always catch me kind of glimpsing back this way. Okay, so I got the nice warm water rinse in. Got pretty much all the soap out. Cold rinse now. So, don't worry, Magnus, if you're watching, I will be doing the SNUS challenge. I've been trying to save it for the weekend because I'm not a tobacco guy. And I'm not going to back down from the challenge. I will use that SNUS. But I don't know if it's going to... I've known people to get nauseous. If anybody has seen the sandlight, you know you could get nauseous with that the tobacco stuff. So I'm saving it for the weekend. I will get it done, though. I promise you. I will not chicken out from the challenge at all. And I can't remember that the name of the candy. Well, even if I remember how it's spelled, not like I know how to say it. But the one that looked like it's little whales. Not the one with the monkey on it. But the one that looked like the little shape of whales. And that chocolate. Those candies are the best. We're going to have to work out some kind of candy exchange. I'll send you some Mexican candy and you keep sending me that Swedish candy. Because that stuff's good. Yeah. Goatee's going nuts. I got to cut it. Cool. And today, to go with the American Barbershop, I'm going to go with 
aqua velva. Not only does it look good in the shave of the day photo with the uh, blue pool scales and the weight and butcher, but it's just with any barbershop smell, aqua velva goes real well. It's one of those uh, real universal scents. I'll go ahead and put it out there, Douglas. Um, put Aqua Velva on your list of uh, aftershaves to make. Because um, you got the club guy and now you're going to have to recreate this one. Because I love the smell of Aqua Velva. It needs to last a bit longer. Because it's pretty much gone within an hour. So I would definitely like to see that one last a bit longer. And this has a really good amount of menthol. So that's probably one of the things that I like the most about Aqua Velva. Yeah, glycer yeah, menthol. See, not only does it have alcohol, but it has the menthol. So it just... Makes me all happy and warm inside. But, hey guys, thank you for sticking around for the shave. Um, SoulSharpLimited.com. You know, I've said it over the course of the last, like, 10 uh, videos. But, hey, thank you to everybody that has been asking questions and has been showing interest on the um, showing interest in these shirts. Friday, we go completely full-fledged. Every design will be on sale. Um, but I think we should be good. So, hey, guys, have a good one. Um, man, it's already late here, so I'm ready to hit the hay. Um, I'll see you guys in the morning.